So, last time out, these two just broke me. Hey everyone, it's uh, he- blah, 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 blah. Hey everyone, it's Heather, and we're back with episode 5, season 6 of The Flash. Uh, last time was a very emotional episode. Um, people were coming to terms with Barry's sacrifice, and uh, the Joe and Barry scene just completely wrecked me. Um, it was really, really touching and sweet, and just, it's just beautiful. Um, the other storyline involved Ramsey going on a bit of a rampage, trying to uh, get more blood and basically killing people and raising them like zombies and, you know, all that good stuff. Now, one thing that I actually completely missed in the last episode till I rewatched it was that uh, when he escaped, he had this sort of whew, 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 uh, Spider-Man-like powers where he can kind of grab onto things with his his blood. Um, so that, that gives him a little bit of a... A little bit of an advantage. I don't know what I was thinking when he just jumped out the window. I was like, oh, well, you know, he's escaped. Because jumping out the window means you've escaped. But I didn't think about it. Like, you know, if he didn't have any th- that sort of powers, he would have just splattered on the ground. And that would have been the end of that. Um, what I do like about Ramsey, which uh, I didn't mention last time, is that he really commits. The actor really relishes the role. So... He's, he's really going full, full evil. Um, so that's, that's something. Uh, in other story news, Ralph is going off to find his sweetheart. It's, it's ridiculous. They've, they've built this up. They've like not so subtly hinted that something is going to happen between them. Um, so it'll be, it'll be weird if nothing happens. He just found her and that was it. The end. Um, speaking of finding people, uh, Nash is on a mission to find Monitor. He was like, tsh, tsh, I'm going to pay you a visit by breaking down your your um, your hideout wall. Uh, so, yeah, what's, what's the story there? Why is he looking for Monitor and what's he going to do when he finds him? So, yeah, I'm interested in that. Um, other than that, Cisco... Cisco was trying to come to terms with letting go of Barry. He was trying to find ways of saving him. And uh, there was that whole storyline where he was stealing the the cure for the antimatter um, to help Barry. And Barry was like, you know, we can't, you know, we have to be better than that. We have to be heroes. And when I'm gone, you're the one I want to lead. So, Yeah. Uh, so that was that storyline. And yeah, I think that was basically what happened in the last episode. Uh, this episode's title is... Um, because episode titles spoil episodes sometimes. So it's better not to know. Um, at least that's what I think. Except when the crossover thing happens and I have no idea. I'm just like, another episode. Um no, but I, I think, yeah, there's a date. So it's like December or something. I'll probably know well in advance. So, yeah. But yeah, let's get into the episode. What am I hoping for in this episode? Um, continuation of the Nash stuff. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing the Ralph stuff. Uh, but that's going to be like away from our main group. So I don't know if that will be an episode on its own or just sort of the B-plot of one of the random episodes. Um and yeah yeah that's that's what I want (laughs) so let's see what we get let's see what we get previously on the flash I'm Cisco by the way you must be Gypsy it's nice to meet you Gypsy this is the thing with previously I can imagine Gypsy or her dad is going to be in this episode sometimes the truth is the hardest lie to see through and when you can't put your faith in the truth is he leaving a cube what message? You left? You're under arrest, Ramon. What? Who are these guys? These don't look like regular guys. Barry, we don't have to do 
12 hours earlier. They look like interdimensional bounty hunters. What the? Okay, look. It's two days. They're going to Hawaii. Ramsey's been off the grid for two weeks. Crisis is coming. Forget about Ramsey. Let's just go on holidays. I'm going to take you someplace special where we can have fruity umbrella drinks and get Sam between our toes. Yeah, I'd want that. I want that. Let's do it. Everybody, everybody, let's just go. Take a look, it's in a book. Hey, aren't you supposed to be... <laughs> hey, thought you guys put Foom Dana here. I was... No, as in Mr. T. My mom was a big A-Team fan. Wish mine was. I pity the fool. Hannibal did me. Who isn't Hannibal, please, you're an Murdoch on your best day. You guys... B-A-R-I, Barry Allen replicated intelligence. Oh, no. Aww. Oh it's no. Decision -making algorithm. Exactly like you would. This is gonna be great. I'm flattered. Computer. What's Barry's favorite movie? Empire. It's gonna be something completely embarrassing. Well, that's fine. Oh. oh god. My favorite movie is Jurassic Park. There it is. How does it do that? To bury you by my side, it'll be like you never left. Except he doesn't have the well the runny thing. Hey, I guess we should uh super, going. super yes, runny. We should. Hey, they don't even need to get like so you got any marching orders, boss? And you to go with Frost to stake out Ramsey's lab. They could. I love it when a plan comes together. That's a team reference. Uh, they can go on holiday, like vacation, any day of the week. Just spend their evenings in. Just so you know. Tahiti. It's I like a magical place. Here. Joe's Joe smart. Captain Joe West, CCPD. Nah. Oh, no, no, no. Well, now they've... Okay, it's a buddy, buddy, cop thing. They'll have an adventure. You need some rest. Sleep breach? Ah! You okay? No, not really. Someone is possessing Cisco. You was sleepwalking? Yeah, that's, um, that's kind of your new thing. Huh? huh? Yeah, at the front door shut, and you were standing there with your keys in your hand and your shoes on. I was half asleep, so I just put you back to bed. It's okay, not what it why appears didn't you to say be. Anything? Well, I didn't. Good night. I love you. I look. You said it. To Can't take it back. Spending time with you tomorrow. <laughs> just say it. Uh, thank you. Breach. Oh, yeah. With a knife? Oh, it has to be the dad. Yeah. Long time no try to kill me. What brings you to my bedroom? <laughs> In the middle of the night. Again. Preacher. Son of a preacher hey. man. The only boy who can ever Josh. It's Cynthia. She's dead. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nobody dies off screen. Nobody dies off screen. Cynthia was tracking a high level hacker. Goes by the name of uh, Echo. Nobody's ever been able to figure out who he really is, right? It's think Cynthia alternate Cynthia. Cisco is Echo. How he well, even without his kind of powers, Cisco can still help you. He's a genius. He made this cool Barry thing. What would Barry do? Barry would help. Because that's what heroes do. Barry wants us to go to the crime scene. The killer here. I can't ask you to come with me. You didn't. I volunteered. Camilla stepping up. She's she's like, I want to be part of this main cast. You would let me down. Let me let me have more lines. I like Camilla. <sighs> There's no single stick sig signal down there. Dance around with that thing all you want. This place was a dead zone long before that wall came down. I'm gonna get us out of here. What are you doing? He's gonna make it worse. What is wrong with you? Why did you not tell me that this Earth's vibrational frequency is calibrated at a molecular level? Yeah, Joe. You're supposed to be the expert. Shush. It turns out that that fireball sapped 80... 2%? 87%. the oxygen in this chamber, which means that you and I have... So many references. ...left to breathe. Oh, good. My favorite guy. Hey, snake eye. Snake eye guy. That guy's next level creepy. I wouldn't go. He is. 
even when before all this. He Smart was... move. There's something I've been wanting to say to you. I've been trying to figure out. He how said to it say last it, night. I don't know. I think I should just come right out and say it. Camilla, I, I like crap. you. Oh, it's the cyber interdimensional CCPD's crime are serious. division. Yeah. Earth 19 collector agents take investigations to a whole other level. Earth 19. I thought you'd be taller, you know, from the way Gypsy talked about you. No, that's funny. She, she never mentioned you, you at all. Hmm. Classic. I, I don't want you to think I'm still yeah. hung up over Cynthia or something. Cisco, when someone you cared about died, I'd be worried if you weren't sad. Earlier, when we first got here, you were gonna say something? Camilla. We're locking down the area. For the love of God. <laughs> you two need to leave. I just wanted to say again how much I truly admire Gypsy. I've got some big shoes to fill. He has the biggest motive of like the zero subsets so suspects we have. Out, we? we noticed he's the only one who benefits from Cynthia's death. Okay, it's not him. So what's the plan? If he wants us to work, we have to make physical contact. Through the glove? Okay. It's gonna look like Cisco. Gonna take off the hoods. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You murdered my daughter! No, 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 no. no. I didn't do it! Gypsy, there's gotta be another explanation. It was Echo. Babe, please. No, what, what, what about doppelgangers? She's right. There's thousands of other versions of me out there. Yeah, and they're all pencil pushers. None of them are scientists like you. Really? Yes. Like it could end up being Camilla. Or alternate Camilla. Or... Whoa, 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 it's definitely whoa, this whoa, Echo whoa, person. Maybe they have the power to I'm gonna echo into the guy. Someone or something. Called the monitor says my son is destined to die in some kind of crisis and the only way i can stomach any of that is have faith that his continuing life or his death is for you said the magic word greater you see martin Ovo. yeah <laughs> that is disgusting and hilarious join me and this is the end of goodbyes. No one you love will ever die again. I've seen your version of life. It's creepy. It's a nightmare. But you can still be your mother's son. Next time won't be a choice. He's the... He's... he's I don't we have like to it. face the fact. How can you be so sure? Because I have faith in you. This episode's all about faith. Perry didn't choose you to be the Flash. He chose you to be you. What is it? This code. It's turned my white noise machine into a micro neural impulse disruptor. I could go all wreck it Ralph on my brainwaves. It's been hacked. Might even look like breach psychosis. Who'd be smart enough to code like that? Echo. Hey. I'm guilty. Suspect is in custody. Initiate QT net removal so the prisoner can be transferred to Earth 19. Copy that. Breacher, that hollow cube will tell you everything you need to know about what happened to Cynthia. Oops. You think I'm gonna let the man that murdered my daughter escape? No, sir. And neither am I. Oh no, he found me. How did you find me? I tricked the collectors into lifting the QT net. Do you have it in you to stop me? 
I guess we'll find out, won't we? You are an anomaly. I'm not just some other version of you. I specialize in hacking multiversal databases to create new identities. I could change your world in an instant. She'd been chasing me for years. She never even knew what I looked like. Genius Gypsy is dead because when she saw me, she saw you. Stop talking. She... I wonder if there's a version of Cisco that's like really good at hunt hand. Don't feel bad, Cisco. You're just not wired like me. You're right. I'm a hell of a lot smarter. Ooh, the old reversal. Cisco's still the main. Cisco Prime. I'm surprised they killed Gy Gypsy off. What am I gonna do? I know we had to make room for Camilla, but I want to invite you to. We didn't really. Cynthia's remembrance ceremony. Cynthia would have liked you. I do too. What's not to love? He said it, kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah. I have to go now. Yeah, I um. Say it. Me too. Okay. Big time. Oh. It would have been awkward if she was like, let's Please see other people. You went home. It's Chester's energy level's already up to 87%. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the Mac's gonna be done cooking him up any day now. Did use it. They brought Probably Chester it back. First, but they mentioned him, so he's gonna be back. Over time. Probably next episode. You know, in all the hubbub of saving your keisters, I never got to ask what the hell you were doing down there. Hey, 1940s, no one says keisters. <laughs> Nash, if 1940s. you would just tell us what you're... All right, tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock, tunnels. Bring your whole fancy team. Why should we do that? Because I know how to save Barry Allen. Ooh. Stretch break. Oh, stretch break. So that was episode five. Um, it was an episode focused solely on, almost completely on Cisco and this sort of murder plot frame job that was happening. And I think the most interesting part of the whole thing, um, apart from the sort of the relationship transition between Cynthia and Camilla, uh, was seeing the other, the Echo version of Cisco. And it's really interesting that Echo is like the ultimate nerd, the ultimate programmer, the ultimate sort of, uh, he, he sort of embodies that whole culture. And we would always assume, or we always see Cisco that way. Like he's just the nerd, you know, he's the genius. He can program anything. He can work anything out. But then we have this this other character that's like completely that way, and the actor uh, plays him uh, so perfectly that you can see so much difference between the two. Uh, just the little tiny mannerisms, the way he was speaking, just everything was so subtle and so com it was so completely different. Even though you would say on paper these are the same types of character, so that's. That's, I, I love that. And the actor did a great, great job. Um, and that's why I love seeing different versions of each of our people. And, you know, we get, we get it so often with Harrison Wells, but, uh, it's fun to see the others as well. So I hope they do more, more things like that in the future. The overall, the overall, like that plot, just kind of a standard, uh, I'm going to frame you for this and you're going to figure it out and outsmart me. So, you know, it, it went sort of, everything went according to plan and Breacher is always hilarious in all his scenes and he sort of gave the thumbs up of approval to Camilla. So that smoothed all that out. But I'm, I, I am still surprised that they killed off Gypsy, especially kind of off screen. Um, it's, 
it doesn't stop her coming back because there's always alternate versions of every character but yeah it was a strange choice um so yeah the other story was Harrison and Joe sort of getting trapped in a rocks rock slide rock cave in thing uh and basically Joe giving another one of his great speeches uh to give Harry some faith and now uh sorry not Harry Nash and now Nash is old yeah come on I'll I'll take the team along for my mission so yeah that'll be fun going forward um Ralph didn't do anything with his main sort of story they just kind of ignored it this week but that's fine you know he was there to save the day uh by doing his weird uh stretchy thing through the rocks uh how did they get out again they must have I don't, I don't know like they wouldn't have fit through those rocks so maybe he gradually like made a hole bigger and bigger and bigger or maybe the Wi-Fi signal got out and, you know, they got a team there. Um, but at least they got oxygen through that hole, so that makes sense. Uh, Barry and Iris just went on vacation for the whole episode. Um, probably frees them up to do more filming on other episodes. Uh, it was It was very noticeable that they were just at the start, just at the end. They didn't have to do any major, you know, uh, costume changes or anything like that. It was just boom, boom, 10 minutes, you're done, get out of here. Um, and they went to so many different beaches, which is funny. And as I said during the episode, they could they could easily just do that whenever they wanted to. They could have dinner in Paris, like every night or, well, not every night, then it would get boring, but... They could be in a different country every every night if they wanted. So, but I guess it's nice just to get away, like completely. Um, and the Barry AI was just one episode done. It was like Cisco feels like he needs Barry still when he's gone, but he doesn't. He's still he he can lead on his own on his own merit. So, yeah, and Frost. Met up with Ramsay for a brief scene where Ramsay's like, join the dark side. And she's like, uh, how about no? And he's like, uh, next time I will kill you. So, yeah, kind of pointless. Uh, we got to see Snake Guy, which is, is good. I like, I like kind of recurring background ex villains that just sort of pop up from time to time. Even though I never want to see his snake thing again. So. Yeah. Uh, that was it. Yeah, nothing else. Nothing else happened in this episode. So, uh, I will see you next time. I'll see you next time. I'll see you, see you next week. Well, I won't see you. You'll see me. Well, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and until then, have a very nice week and if you want to go on vacation like just take take a week off go on a vacation you should do it it's a good time of the year go somewhere nice and sunny and uh yeah except you know airports just a chore going through all that security and blah 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 yeah much better to get somebody to speed you like wherever you want to go very quickly that would be just perfect. Um, and cheaper too. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.